the power of beta gamma functions. We have this integral from 0 to pi by 2 square root of tan x dx. Since uh, we have the limits of integral from 0 to pi by 2 and tan x can also be broken in terms of sine and cos. So we see that this is an excellent replication for beta gamma function. Yeah. So why is that? Because we know from beta gamma function that if we have integral from 0 to pi by 2 sine of m x cos of n x dx for this integral we have the answer as beta of m plus 1 by 2 comma n plus 1 by 2 over 2 now we can easily evaluate this beta function over 2 so uh, since we have a root annex as this now we'll directly use beta gamma function and we get beta of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that's 3 by 2 by 2 that's 3 by 4 comma this is 1 by 4 over 2 now for a third eval we know that beta of m comma n beta of x comma y is just gamma x gamma y over gamma x plus y thus we have gamma of 3 by 4 gamma of 3 by 4 gamma of 1 by 4 by 2 times gamma of 1 and gamma of 1 is 0 factorial that's just 1 and for the product of gamma of 3 by 4 and 1 by 4 uh, we need to know another rule of gamma function that gamma of n gamma of 1 minus n is just pi by sine of n pi uh, now we will use this property of gamma function and we will get this as pi by sine pi by 4 over 2 now this is 1 by 2 pi is pi and sine pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 so this is pi by root 2 okay so now we get this integral as pi by root 2 and that's the answer so we see that how beta gamma function could easily simplify this integral which else could have been a lot tougher and yes this is the this is it thanks for watching